All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about LinkedIn strategy, and more specifically, we're gonna be talking about a strategy called coat tailing. And what that means is we are looking to boost our connections on LinkedIn. So that means more people are gonna be following us on LinkedIn, more people are gonna be seeing our post, they'll be aware of who we are, checking out our profile, and therefore, no matter what you're doing on LinkedIn, whether it's landing your first job or starting you know, your own consultancy or looking for your third or fourth or fifth job or building your own business. It really doesn't matter. Coattailing is very important as a strategy to boost your profiles. So in today's video, we're gonna walk through how you do that and talk a little bit about what you're trying to accomplish there as we go through and make these connections. So I'll save some of the details for actually walking through it with you. And I'm gonna show you how to do this on desktop as well as the mobile app. So hang in there and let's check out what it looks like to coattail in the real world. All right, so now I'm here live on LinkedIn and taking a look at basically what you land on when you log in. So in order to coat tell someone or a page or a group or something like that, I need to first figure out who I want to search for and who I would like to coat tell. And this is specific to the individual. So if you're looking for your first Salesforce job, you might find someone else who's looking for their first Salesforce job and find someone who's got some traction and yes, while they're your competition, they can also be a great person for you to attempt to imitate and reproduce some of the content they're producing. So you could post similar posts to them, but what we're looking at today is actually picking up their connections. So you'll notice that some people have thousands, tens of thousands of followers on LinkedIn. And the amazing thing about social media platforms like LinkedIn is that the more followers you have or connections, the more uh, exposure you're going to get to these individuals. They might like your post, comment on your post, share your post. And the purpose of this is not to necessarily get someone to give you a job or get someone to be your next freelance client or you know, get someone to purchase something from your business. It's the ability for people to see your name repeatedly. And the more times that you're being seen and shared and posted and liked, the more times that the algorithms of LinkedIn are going to share your information. They're going to share your profile. They're going to share your post. So you show up in a post like this, right? So the whole reason this shows up for me is that I'm connected with Bill and Vanessa, another one of my connections, celebrated this by reacting. So this shows up number one. It's only got 28 likes and two comments. So it's not huge as far as post engagement, but because I'm connected with this person and because one of my connections like their stuff, it shows up for me. So now imagine you're creating posts like Bill did and you're saying, hey, I had this accomplishment. I'm still looking for my first opportunity or I'm accepting new clients or I've got this amazing new product you should check out. That's going to show up for more people. The more connections you have like this and like this and the more that this is happening on your posts. So let's take a look at that. The way we do that is we want to know more people who like to engage, who like to share, who like to comment, who like to celebrate all these things. We want to find more people like that. So we just need to connect with more of these individuals. So I'm going to show you how to do that on desktop. And then I'm going to show you how to do that on mobile. And we'll take a look at that. It's very similar, but I do find on mobile it's, it's much faster, but it's really up to preference. So I was checking out Salesforce Ben, who's got a great blog. Uh, so you should check that out if you haven't already um, over at Salesforce Ben. But I just clicked on his uh, company profile here and I'm going to click on his posts. And then all I'm going to do is look for a post that has some nice engagement. So a couple of comments, that's fine. 23 uh, responses. Really what I'm looking to do is I don't even care if these only get two or three likes, because what I do know is that the people who like this are the kind of people who will pretty much come in and like um, anything that they see that they like the least bit. So let me check this one out. So first I'm gonna check the comments and see if any of these are second connections for me. If they're a first connection, and we can see this right here in the top, we see second. If that's a second connection, I can connect with them. So I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna click connect. And so now I can send that over and hopefully this person will connect. And so you, now, now you might be saying, well, Brad, why on earth would you connect with whoever that was, right? Like, what are they gonna do for you? Here's what they do for me. 
they are the type of person who is going to come in and put a comment on my post. These are the type of people who want to come in. I'm going to open this in a new tab and I'm going to open this in a new tab. So they share it with other people, right? So hopefully I can get a post out there that they like and, and, and they'll see it because we're connected and then they'll be willing to share that with their community and it'll give my post a boost and more and more people will see it. So that's how you do that with commenting. Just look for second connections, connect with those and then move forward. Now, moving on to people who engage. This is also great for the uh, LinkedIn algorithms to give you a little boost on your profile to get it to more people. Same concept. I'm already a first connection with these top two. So at this point, I just need to open in a new tab these additional individuals. And I'm not going to do them all for the sake of this video, but I'll do a handful of them. And again, the whole reason is I want these people to see my post and therefore like it or comment on it or share it and get it out to more and more and more people. And so when you talk about, oh, how did you get a trending post? How did you get a trending video? It's not just luck. It's the fact that we've already done sort of the hustle of making all these connections. And therefore, we are boosting our odds of getting a lot of shares, getting a lot of views, getting a lot of likes, people engaging. And guess what? The more people who see it and the more often they see you, they are going to eventually be influenced by the fact that they've seen you so many times, they've liked your post, uh, they find your post really engaging where they can come talk to other people and they're going to want to, uh, you know, if they get in a position to recommend someone for a Salesforce position or for a new client or whatever else, or they get in a position to uh, hire someone for their team and they're looking for individuals, they might reach out to you, especially if your posts are saying, I'm super passionate about what it is I'm talking about and, uh, you know, whatever the topic is, and I'm looking for work right now, then if you show up in front of them four or five times, especially four or five times in a month, then the likelihood of them reaching out to you is actually pretty good. So this is what coattailing is all about, is just getting yourself out there, getting more eyes on you and sharing that information in order to stay in front of the people. And eventually your post and your name and your profile will get in front of decision makers. So you can be like many of our members, who have landed jobs that they didn't even apply for because of their engagement on LinkedIn. All right, and this is what it looks like to do what I call code tailing on the LinkedIn mobile app. So what I'm gonna do is just come into my search and you can see I just searched David K. Lou to prep this. So I'm gonna go over to David K. Lou, scroll down to his activity. And I've already gone too far. So let's see, here's his activity. We're going to click see all activity. And typically what I'm going to do is go to his posts. So if you can find something with more comments and you want it to be around what you're looking for. So like this, like free Salesforce coding class. Well, personally, I have a free five day challenge and a free freelance class. So these might be the same types of people who would be interested. So first I'm going to grab the people who comment and make sure I'm connected with them. So I can see right here, this is a second connection. I can see that right at the top beside Brian Channon's name. I can click on that and just click connect and then go back and then come down a little further. I'm a first connection with these individuals. I can see that right beside their names. There's a little first icon. And what I'm looking for are people who are second or third connections. So here's a second connection right here. Connect with them. And this is all in order to broaden my network. Now, I don't think these people are going to get you jobs or get me jobs necessarily, maybe. But the point is, if I make a post, these are the kind of people who will come and comment. And when people comment on your post, you should be responding to them within, within an hour of them commenting. Make sure you respond back if you can. And that's going to really push your posts higher in the share, like the, the algorithm in LinkedIn is going to see, oh, people are commenting on this person's post. And so now I'm going to go pump this up and show it to more and more people because they might be interested in it. So these are the exact types of people who enjoy commenting. They enjoy engaging, liking. And so if I'm connected with them, chances are every now and then they will come through and comment on my stuff, like my stuff. And so when I'm done with this, when I'm done going through the comments, I'll come over to the likes and I'll just go to right here and I'll go to all 
And then if I just scroll down, you're going to see all the first are listed at the top. So I'm going to get past the first. So I'm going to scroll a little fast. And I'm going to get past all the ones that are first connections until I get to the second. All right, here we go. They start right here, second connections. I'm going to click there and connect. So now what I'm doing is I'm going through all the people who are the kind of people who like posts. So once again, this isn't quite as good as someone commenting on your post, but someone liking your post is also going to boost the algorithm and hopefully get you in front of more people. So I'm going to keep doing this. And the reason I'm going to do this for just a second here is I want to show you what it looks like. Here we go. When you get an alert from LinkedIn. So you've sent more invitations than most on LinkedIn. It's I believe it's saying it's best to only connect with people you know. You can still send an email if you want to introduce yourself. Okay, got it. So I might in this case, you know, I might do like 10 more, something like that. But really, you do want to heed that warning. You can get blocked pretty easily on LinkedIn. And they'll give you a warning at first. Even if you do get blocked, it'll be temporarily. Uh, so just be careful. You know, you might go through and like a few more. It'll alert you again. But if you want to play it safe, when you get that first alert, it might be a good idea to just go ahead and call it quits for the day. And I think they keep a weekly tally, actually. So you might have to take a break for a week of connecting. But you can still go message people and endorse them and make your own post and like other people and share other people and all that fun stuff. So I hope that gives you some insight into what coattailing looks like on the LinkedIn mobile app and why you would want to coattail individuals in order to boost your own network. And again, this isn't so people will give you a job. This is so the posts that you post will get boosted, more people will see them, and hopefully when it starts showing in front of more and more people, you'll get more connections, uh, more messages, and eventually you are going to land in front of those recruiters and people who are hiring individuals just like you.